hi friends in this video you will discuss about the set data type so just open edit plus edit plus go to the file menu click on new others in others can please select the python here and python this is in this data in this one you will discuss set the data type here set data type what about set data type here this is the video class number of 16 i think this is the video class number video class number 16 set data type so come to set data types as you know previous videos we done the list data type is done we done the tuple data type list and tuple is completed now in this video we'll discuss about the set data type right we'll discuss about the set the main difference between the list and set is so list allows duplicate objects whereas set is does not allows duplicate objects see set is also representing representing group of objects as a so group of objects as a single entity group of objects it may be homogeneous and it may be heterogeneous and the main difference between the list and set is set to duplicates allowed or not allowed yeah? set to duplicates are no, duplicates are not allowed right that's it number three as you know list uh, list inserts not is preserved not preserved here well, list inserts not is preserved not preserved list is preserved inserts not right and set inserts not is not preserved so we don't know in which are it stores the data right insert not is not preserved if the insert not is not preserved any indexing format data is there why well, set is nothing but group of objects it may be homogeneous or may be heterogeneous the main difference between the list and set is set to duplicates are not allowed and insert not is not preserved once the insert not is not not preserved any indexing here there is no indexing there is no indexing right there is no forward indexing and there is no backward indexing and you can please declare the set data by using flower braces so like that you can declare the set data and uh, here and the list is the mutable or immutable here well list is mutable or immutable list is mutable right modifications are allowed what about tuple here tuple is immutable right modifications allowed or not allowed not allowed whereas coming to the set uh, set is immutable set is what uh, mutable mutable means it allows uh, allows for the modification such that's it uh. this is uh, about the set here actually group of objects it may be homogeneous and heterogeneous mainly duplicates are not allowed and there is no insertion order if there is no insertion order means there is no indexing concept uh. there is no indexing concept right and here we can declare the data flower braces and it is a mutable data we can do the modifications also we can do the modifications right that's it let me show this is the so video class number so local is key i'm saving this applications so this is the video class number so video class number 16 that's it clear good i'll do the some examples example one example one is a basic example to represent the data we will do the basic example once and in front of the video don't sit idle just take the your notebook and note down the all the points here so i'm uploading all the videos right take the notes clearly as i said list versus set is clear right it's finally decided set is duplicate objects are not allowed and there is no insertion order and there is no indexing concept okay so the main intention of set is uh, to get the unique values to get the unique values to do the practicals go to the file menu click on new others in other simply open the python window here you can type the application right i want set equal to so set of integers set of integers simply can write the print of s1 so if you want to know the type of the set if you want to know the type of the set how to know the type of the set here uh, type of s1 right that's it so let me save this application in local disk e uh, what the file name here first dot the extension should be dot py okay just open the command prompt where is your file here in local disk e right move to local disk e in the local disk e python the file is called first dot py what the type here here set type or not insert not is preserved not preserved here not preserved if the insert not is not preserved means there is no indexing concept so we get the output is 40 10 20 30 right like that clear good and s2 equal to i would like to store heterogeneous data 
so 10 comma 10.4 comma double quotes rather than right that's it then simply you can write the print of s2 here print of s2 you'll get the corresponding data right clear that's it s3 equal to i'm trying to insert the duplicate objects here 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 10 so if you are trying to insert the duplicate objects uh, duplicates allowed or not allowed here not allowed duplicate not allowed means you'll get the only one 10 right only one time you will get the 10 value clear that's all but then sir i want empty set but here the point is don't declare the empty set like this the reason is so you are thinking there is empty set but if you want you can check the type once type of s4 so it may be dictionary actually dictionary also we can declare in the flower braces by default declare the flower braces by default it is treated as a dictionary then sir i want empty set then how set equal you can write the set off set off means set off you are not passing any data right then you'll get the empty data so you can do the two lines you can place here this is set off print off s5 and print off s5 right that's it clear that's all simply you can run this code python first dot pi you'll get the cursor last line you can check it you'll get the set right Hmm? that's all this is the example number one regarding your set here this is basic example here so s1 s2 s3 s4 and s5 if example is clear right and example 2 example 2 coming to the example 2 just to pause the video uh, try to take the example one here after taking the example one then go to the example 2 okay just pause the video take the example one next example s1 equal to so flower braces thus inside the set uh, it is possible to store immutable data immutable means integer is immutable string is also immutable uh, and a tuple is also immutable right tuple means parenthesis so integer is allowed string is allowed and tuple is allowed these are called immutable data so, uh, so immutable data are not okay then simply you can write print the s1 s1 right you will get the output clearly no problem but in the set uh, if you are trying to store the mutable data what is the mutable data tell me here list is a mutable data or not one comma two comma this is mutable data 10 is immutable any anyway, list is allowed or not allowed here list is not allowed right then immediately you will get the error message this is the print of s2 simply you can run this code unhashable type list unhashable type of list okay good so for example set inside the set set is also mutable data right set inside the set nested sets here you know next list is allowed next tuple is allowed come to the next set next set is allowed or not allowed not allowed unhashable type list right we can remove the list unhashable type set so unhashable type list you will get the data and uh, unhashable type set also you will get the data unhashable type dictionary also dictionary also mutable data so finally what we decided hmm, here you will get the messages unhashable type uh, uh, set right what about unhashable type list you can make the s3 here in s3 we can take this one is a uh, uh, braces Square, square bracket site right? that's it here you will get the message unhashable type list so finally this example conclusion is inside the set it is possible to store hmm. so inside the set inside the set tell me yeah, possible to store possible to store only which data here immutable data immutable data immutable data so inside the set inside the set so if you are storing the mutable data if we are storing tell me if you are storing storing so mutable data so we will get error message you will get error right that's all so then tell me what the final conclusion here inside the set possible to store only which data are immutable data inside the state set if you are uh, if you are storing the mutable data you will get error message don't forget this point here. Finally, we decided set allows only immutable data. Why oh, set allows only which data? Immutable data, right? That's it.
clearer that's all so example 3 example 3 set is mutable or immutable here set is hmm set is mutable set is mutable means modifications allowed or not allowed here modifications are allowed right modifications are allowed i will do some modifications on set data example 3 what are the modifications see every example we are discussing one by one but if you are listening this example you will never get the clarity example 2 you listen okay what is example 2 set allows only which data immutable data set not allowed immutable data right so after that one just pause the video try to take that example then start the next one next one is what set is mutable you can do the modifications i will do some modifications on set clear on that side s1 equal to i have 10 20 30 30 i want add some data to add the data s1 dot add add of 40 add of 40 by using print of what s1 right so you'll get the output is 10 20 30 40 40 as you know insert not is not preserved right so we cannot say exact data clear that's it otherwise s1 dot i would like to be the update method to update the data see on the set directly list is not allowed here on the set directly we are adding the list allowed or not allowed here not allowed right because list is which data mutable data so here this is update function see by using this update function we are adding the multiple values we are adding complete list data but observe careful we are not adding the list into the set just we are adding the multiple values right we just we are adding multiple values the point is clear check the output here 10 20 30 tell me in the set 10 20 30 you will get the data like this right 10 20 30 we will not get the data like this square brackets then what is the conclusion here on the set adding the list data is not allowed exactly but to add the multiple elements is allowed by using which which function here update function but rathan sir do one thing you are by using update function so i am trying to add only one value but this update function i am trying to add only one value right run this code you will get the error message update function is expecting the multiple values we get error which error here type error object int object not iterable data then what is the conclusion here add function is used to add the only one element update is used to add the multiple values sir update is used to add multiple values multiple values of it may be set it may be tuple it may be list it may be set anything but it can update the one value or multiple values multiple values right that's it so we can add the data in the set by using add by using update by using add we can add only one data and by using update we can add the multiple values by using update we can add one value or multiple values here multiple values right that's it clear hmm? that's all so next one i want to copy the data to copy the data s1 dot simply can go with the copy function copy of after copying s2 right then to simply try to print the s2 value print of s2 right that's it simply can run this code same data is printed or not this is called copying the data this is called what a copying the data right that's all so clear so in this example just we done the three operations one is the adding one is updating one is the copying adding is always done with only one object update is done with what a collection data multiple values copy we can copy the data that's all example 4 we can done the concatenation replication see in all cases concatenation replication is allowed but in the set data we cannot do the concatenation replication maybe while doing the concatenation the reason is when we do the concatenation concatenation means what adding the data right maybe in most of the cases when you trying to add the data maybe a chance of more duplicates right then sir without duplicates uh, any anyway, other operation is not allowed s3 equal to s1 plus s2 so i'm trying to print the s3 trying to print the s3 unsupported operand type plus operator and set and center the reason main reason is set is main intention is duplicate allowed or not allowed tell me are duplicate allowed or not allowed not allowed right 
duplicates are not allowed but when you trying to combine the multiple values there may be a chance of you will get the duplicates or not so we have the more chances to get the duplicates right replication uh, replication means same data multiple times right same data multiple times set to duplicates not allowed then how the replication is allowed yes or no simply can make the s4 equal to so es1 two times are uh, already invalid uh, so not possible right clear uh? that's all guys if you make this one is the comment mode check this error message hmm? so you can make this one is a comment mode plus operate right then check the replication error unsupported operate op operand type which type is star set an integer so finally we decided so you cannot apply the replication and concatenation on the set because replication and concatenation is combining the multiple values but when you combine the multiple values we have the more chances to get the duplicates we have the more chances to get the duplicates that's the reason these are allowed or not allowed here not allowed and example number five printing the data by using for loop here so here see here there is no indexing right there is no index means starting value to ending value and for loop so on so on data there is no indexing concept so s1 equal to i have the data 10 20 30 40 total how many values we have four values right print the data by using for loop for x in a for x in s1 right simply can write the print of x but one of the student is asked Ratan sir whenever the 30 is encounter I want to stop the execution simply can do it for x in s1 colon simply check the if condition here if x double equal to 30 if x double equal to 30 then stop the execution or not break the execution otherwise simply can print the data right print of what print of x so this is the way printing the data Yes or no, printing the data or not? That's all. Hmm? So this is the example printing the data by using for loop. Printing the data by using by using tell me a for loop, right? That's it. So examples are clear, right? I'm repeating all the examples once you can check it. Example one. So basic example, set data, set of duplicates are not allowed empty set means flower braces but this is treated as a dictionary format this is which type here dict type this is which type here this is a set type right that's it the second example on the set it is possible to add only immutable data it is not possible to add the mutable data third example we are doing the modifications so on the set we can add the data by using which function here add function and update the data by using update function Add, by using add function we can add how many elements only one element but by using update we can add one element or multiple elements here multiple elements multiple elements are not that's it so next one you can copy the data next one is the concatenation replication is possible or not possible here? not possible because when we concat the data when we replicate the data there may be a chance of more duplications right may be a chance of more duplications that is the reason valid invalid here invalid clear that's all so next example printing the data by using for loop right we are printing the data by using which loop for loop or not next example number six here come to the example number six here we will check the id operator here id function id function to print the what the purpose here to print the the previous classes we done this one right what is the purpose of id to print the to print the memory address or not oh, to print the memory address Next one you will check the is and is not operators. What the purpose of is and is not here? Yeah? Is and is not for which comparison? Data comparison or memory comparison? It is for the memory comparison or not? Memory comparison. What about double equal to operator and not equal to operator? Double equal to not, not equal for the data comparison. So in comma, next one is what? In comma, not in. What the purpose of in comma, not in? to check the data check the data is available or not available data available or not available right sir no data is available or not so in this example we discuss the four points here 
one is id function to print the memory address is and is not for the memory comparison double equal to not equal for the data comparison in and not in for to check the data is available or not available see in all cases you will get the true and false value if the two reference variables are pointing to same object returns true otherwise false data is same means returns true otherwise false data is available means returns true otherwise false this is all the cases you will get the true and false right that's it eh? clear huh? so we will do an example here we got this one here s1 equal to you can make as usual 10 comma 20 comma 30 values and i'll make the s2 s2 you can declare 40 50 and 60 and s3 equal to s3 equal to s1 it means s3 is also pointing to s1 then if you want you can check the ids id of s1 tell me id of s1 simply next one is what id of s2 and id of s3 you are printing id site right? i think here id of s1 and id of s3 must be uh, both are same or not sir no? both are same we'll get 8 1080 and 1080 or not that's it yeah. now we'll check the memory comparison here to check the memory comparison print off print off see s1 is s2 tell me here s1 is s2 or not obviously false right s1 is s3 obviously it is true false and true we'll get so now we'll get the false and true or not hmm, that's it eh? next one you can check the e is not operator s1 is not s2 obviously true right s1 is not s3 obviously false this is called e is and e is not operators yeah next one you'll check the data comparison data comparison is switch operator data comparison means uh, double equal to undo, not equal to right so coming to the s1 double equal to s2 then true or false s1 s2 false right so print off so s1 double equal to s3 both data is same right the answer may be here address also same right then how can you do like this do one thing that is valid no problem but for your confirmation purpose i am taking s4 can please think s1 is pointing to different maybe you are thinking s1 s3 returns are pointing to same memory maybe chance of true only obviously true only but if you are not accepted do one thing s1 s4 s1 s4 is pointing to same memory different memory obviously two different objects right but s1 s4 data is same or different both are same clear huh? that's it huh? and you can go to not equal to operator s1 not equal to s2 obviously true right s1 not equal to s4 obviously it is false this is s1 not equal to s2 right that's it this is called uh, id function is is not operator and double equal to not equal right next one is in and not in just i want check 10 in tell me just a 10 in s1 or not obviously 10 in s1 only right no problem we will get the output yes or no next one is what 100 in s1 there is no value right we will get the true and false so in the same way you can check the not in operator in and not in right 100 not in s1 so 100 not in s1 10 is not in s1 100 not in s1 false and true clear huh? so that's all so in this example we done with the, these four operations here yeah. any doubts hmm? that's all right that's all guys this is all about your example number how many examples we done total six examples right that's all hmm? good and example number seven you will do some minus operator and uh, minus operator and or hmm? exclusive or you'll discuss these all the points you can check it once but to copy that example just let me open my material writing that small small examples taking time so python material i have the material here if you want a soft copy you can please mail to my mail id to my mail id is ratna5256 at gmail.com clear so gmail.com that's all the example number seven i said set right set data type so 
data is available or not available yeah so we can check this example just i'm copying this example you guys can please check and write the output for this one i'm not writing and i'm not not explaining this example also okay good so first dot by that's it set of ratan then what happened here every character will become the element of the set right set of ratan ratan soft every character will become the every character will become element of the set or not that's it b minus a what do you b minus a letters in b but not in a a or b letters in a a r b r both a and b letters in both a and b a exclusive or b then letters in a or b but not both sir no yeah letters in a or b but not both right the same way basket one basket two so i have the some or orange apple uh, having some orange and apple some pear is banana is there that's it so basket one minus basket two basket or like this okay when you will run this code then you will get the output it's not a problem clear that's all so we can check this example just we can write the output for this example example number 7 right that's all and you come into the example number 8 the example number 8 you will go with uh, example number 8 you will go with uh, i want to add the multiple elements in the set here actually i want to add 1 to 10 elements in the set how to add 1 to 10 elements 10 elements in the set you can check it s1 equal to square brackets floor brackets you can use the simply for loop for x in range tell me for x in range of for x in range of tell me for x in range of i want 10 right that's it but which x is goes to s1 right this x right that's it sir no actually x in uh, for x in range of 10 this x is goes to s1 or not that's it simply can write the print message print of s1 now we can check this data 0 to 9 is printed or not 0 to 9 is printed that's it if you only can make x to here so for uh, x in a range i want 3 to 10 3 to 10 by incrementing the 4 so which value goes to s to this x right this x with the multiplication of uh 54 i want like that we can do some operation we can add the data simply s2 but this is temporary variable and whatever the data you mentioned here this data only goes to s2 right why this data only goes to s2 or not only two values will get tell me the code here next one s3 equal to flower braces for x in a range of tell me x in a range of i want i want 20 elements otherwise 10 to 20 every element is the multi with a plus of 99 so like that you can do the operations right adding the one element or multiple elements sir multiple elements in the set that's it 109 1110 like that this is example number how much here example number 8 and example number 10 example number 9 good example number 9 we clear all examples huh? hmm? in example number 9 you will discuss them or remove the data here so pause so see that is a set is mutable or immutable yeah set is mutable mutable means modifications are allowed so remove the data right good to remove the data generally we have the remove function which form many functions are remove function and we have the pop function and we have the discard function and we have the clear function how many ways are there to remove the data yeah? total four remove pop discard and clear clear that's it so you come to the application here you can make some s1 s1 of you can make 10 20 30 right i want remove some data simply can write s1 dot remove of i want remove 10 10 is available right it is removed any problem no problem but s1 dot uh, remove of i want remove 100 but 100 is available or not available not available right you will get the error key error sir no the 100 is not available 
you will get the error message what the error message here key error right that's it simply you can write the print of s1 right that's all any doubts no that's it take one more s1 here we are saying the data 10 20 30 up to this one is treated as a uh, one operation from this one you can treat as one operations students don't confuse here uh, check the data multiple so check the data will get the clarity right i hope my videos are clear right for everyone students are you feeling any difficulties s1 10 20 30 so i'm saying up to this one treated as one operation next one this one is as one operation right s1 dot simply can write the pop right pop of print of which data here s1 data that's it which is the printing here 20 and 30 right pop means it removes the data with starting value it will take random values here pop of the data clear huh? that's it here. pop will take because set insert not is preserved not preserved not preserved not preserved means we don't know which are it stores the data right we don't know which are it stores the data means we don't know which are it is removes the data also wrong we set is ordered uh, unordered collections unordered collection right unordered means we don't know in which are it, it stores the data pop means we don't know which element it removes but it removes the data clear huh? that's it remove under pop and then next next operation take the s1 of 10 20 30 this is one more operation here 10 20 30 no next one you can go for discord operation discord of 10 then what happened 10 is discarded so you can please write the discord of uh, discord of uh, 10 uh, discord of 100 but any 100 value is there no if there is no 100 value just it ignores that value see while removing the data if the data is not available you will get the key error right but while discarding the data if the data is not available just it will ignore the data the last one is a clear function here so 10 20 30 is then i want to clear the data s1 dot the function is college function here clear function s1 dot clear right the print of s1 so clear means it removes entire data any data is there now no just some basic operation of four four operations remove it removes the data if the data is not available you will get error message which error error you will get the key error pop will remove the data we don't know which are it remove the data but it, it removes the data discard if the data is available it removes the data if the data is not available hmm, then what happened data is not available uh, it ignores the data right that's it clear it removes the entire data why clear it removes the entire data or not that's all next example number example number 10 what about example number 10 here so a student is asked one question the terms are the list contains 10 20 30 10 20 30 i want to eliminate duplicates i want the output without duplicates if you want the output without duplicates then what you will do tell me the terms are i want the output without duplicates then you can please convert that list into set format here set of l1 then simply you can write the print of s yes. then what is the output you will get without duplicates right sir no without duplicates well then sir once again set is there but i want to convert the list to format simply you can make the new list here new list equal to so list of here you have to pass the s yes. then simply you can write the print of hmm, simply you can go with the new list right that's it this is the conversion of your list to set once again set to list Sorry, this is a conversion process to eliminate the duplicates simply can go with the conversion process so list to set or set to list right that's it any doubts in the initial example i forgot to send back in the data here it is possible to unpack the data also 11th example how to unpack the data tell me here we can make s1 equal to floor brackets 10 20 30 uh, i want to unpack the data a comma b comma c equal to s1 right that's all so print of simply can write the type of the a next one is the type of the b and type of the c right that's it type of the c 
tell me you get the output is integer 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 only right but the answer make the different values get the clarity so rather than right now you get the different values integer string and float why yeah, integer string of float uh, first one is the uh, oh insert not is not preserved right is insert not is not preserved means we don't know which order it stores the data but surely it will hold the data right it will hold the data clear huh? that's all so i'm coming to the s2 here s2 i want to assign 10 20 30 but i'm assigning to only two variables as you know right tell me which error will get there i think value error too many values to unpack right so or no too many values to unpack clear huh? Hmm, that's all this is all about the unpacking the data next example number 12 if you want sorting operation here yeah. so you can recheck the sorting operation here ascending order and descending order right so so i have the s1 equal to 10 to every video every example pause the video and try to take the code assume i have the 10 3 34 1 some 30 right I want sort the data to print the sorting s1 dot simply can be the sort so print of s1 right print of s1 simply can run this code what are they saying error message set object set object has no attribute sort sort is belongs to sort is belongs to only list here but to do sort sorting operation we have the function like uh, sorted function actually sorted of s1 you can check the output now 1 3 10 hmm? 24 30 right like this you can do the sorting order but then sir i want reverse sorting so print of print of uh, sorted of s1 comma so reverse equal to you can make the true reverse equal true means data is print reverse format right sir no? this is sorting order it is sir i want the count the day count is allowed or not allowed here because only unique values right the count is not required count is required or not required not required but length length of simply can write the s1 what the length of the s1 here you will get the 5 right there is no indexing to find the index uh, find uh, these all are not available because indexing is valid or invalid here yeah? not valid right the reason here indexing is not supported hmm? then sir what about minimum and maximum value see while performing the sorting as you know right while performing sorting s2 yes, equal to i have 10 10.4 double quotes rather now here sorting is allowed or not allowed here yeah? so print of print of i can write the sorted of s2 yes, right then sorting is valid or invalid here valid because this 10 and 10.4 integer and float right integer and float is belongs to hmm, integer and float is belongs to number type only right heterogeneous data means you can make the string rather than right in that case integer and float is belongs to number type this is called which type here string type number and string right number and string is valid or invalid invalid saying error message is uh, while performing sorting it internally uses greater than less than right that greater than less than are not applied clear huh? so finally what the conclusion here to perform the sorting your data must be homogeneous data your data must be which data here? homogeneous data right hmm? that's all the data must be homogeneous data that's all about your set, in, set data pair. Hmm? That's all. So I'll explain all the lines once you can check the code once. This video class number 16 we're discussing. We're discussing set data type. What is set data type it is saying? Uh, before set we are discussing list and tuple. List is mutable data, tuple is immutable data. List inserts not is preserved, it indexing is allowed, and duplicates are allowed, right? The main difference between list and set is set to duplicates are not allowed insert not is not preserved and there is no indexing there is no insert not means there is no indexing and it is a mutable data mutable means modifications are allowed right 
then basic example I declared. Example two inside the set we can store only which data are immutable data. Immutable data is allowed or not allowed? Not allowed. Immutable data is allowed or not allowed? Not allowed, right? That's it. Example three <laughs> set is mutable modifications are allowed. We are adding the data and update the data. What is the difference between the add and update? Add is used to uh, add is used to add only one element. Update is used to add the multiple elements, right? Concatenation application both are not allowed. The reason is when we concat the data multiple multiple uh, we are combining multiple values. Maybe a chance of more duplicates. But set of duplicates allowed or not allowed? Not allowed. Replication also same point. Replication means same data multiple times. Here duplicates are not allowed, right? So replication also not allowed. Then printing the data by using for loop. Then checking id is is not double equal not equal to in and not in. If you have any queries, my mail id. Then you can check the b minus a, a and b and all. So you are adding the multiple values. And example number nine: remove, pop, discard, clear. What is the difference between remove and pop? Remove, remove the data. If the data is not available, you will get the key error. Pop will remove the random element. Discard, remove the data. Data is not available. Just ignore that value. And clear it removes entire data. Then conversion process. List contains multiple values. Just let me convert that uh, list into the set format. Then in this case, what happened? Duplicates are eliminated or not? Next one, example number eleven. This is called unpacking the data. Unpacking the data. Clear? Huh? So example number twelve is sorting the data, right? So while performing the sorting, we can sort only which data are homogeneous data. Heterogeneous data sorting is valid or invalid here? Invalid. And example number thirteen is finding the minimum and maximum values. Min and max values. So to check the minimum and maximum values, so ten, twenty, thirty. So print of. Tell me your print of. So min of S one, right? Min of S one. So print of. Simply can write the max of S one. In this case, what is the output here? Ten and thirty, right? Same min and max. We can apply it on string data also. String data means then what happened here? Uh, based on the ASCII values, right? Based on the ASCII values, the min and max is applied. This is Durga. Simply can make this is S two, S two. This is S two. Clear? Anu one rathan. Minimum value is anu. Maximum value is rathan. See for example, I have inserted ten and rather homogeneous heterogeneous 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 means while finding the minimum and maximum values while finding the minimum and maximum values. See, it is finding internally minimum and maximum by applying greater than less less than right. But two different types of data greater than less than are not applied. So this is the less than is not applied in between the string and integer or not. Sir, no, yeah. That's all. So this is the finding the minimum values and the maximum values. See, while sorting the data, while finding the minimum and maximum, it is it is possible the operations only on hmm, possible perform operations on only on homogeneous data. Heterogeneous data sorting is possible, not possible, yeah, not possible. Clear? That's all, guys. That's how many examples we done here. Thirteen examples. So thank you guys thanks for watching like the video comment the video and subscribe to our channel to get the more updates thank you guys